In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. I think it's stuck. I think that's the problem, babe. No, it's <laughs> Wednesday fun day, so they say, or is that Monday fun day, or sun Sunday fun day? Sunday fun day, Wednesday fun day, whatever fun day. Uh, today is honey do list day, uh, except Lindsay didn't make the list. I made my own honey do list of all kinds of little things to try to knock out so we can start putting this camper back together. Well, we're already starting to, but we're getting, we're getting there. I mean, it's moving. You can see Lindsay's got these doors painted. So that's one of the first things on the list is to hang them up again. Oh no. Found out we're always running into these little things, as you know. Um, but found out because Lindsay put this beautiful pattern on the door all the way down to the base. There's now extra thickness right here, and this is what the door used to fit in, right along there. So there are two screws. I can unscrew it a little bit, and then it'll fit back on the track. So as it turns out, uh, I'm not going to be hanging the doors yet. Lindsay reminded me of this wood beam across here that she wants to stain. She's sanding it down pretty good. So she's going to go ahead and stain it, and then it's got to dry and all that fun stuff, and then I can hang the doors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get working on these electrical wires. Going to build just a small little cover, a little box that's going to go across here. Building that little box took a lot more than I thought it would. Like always, time, I uh, just don't have enough of it. But it's coming along, it looks great. Got to paint, paint the top of that. And I'm building out, I'm working on building out every little ramp. My thoughts are I'm gonna put a lot of effort into this forever since she's not gonna appreciate it. Cause you know that's how kids are. So um, I'm gonna build it and then she's not even gonna use it. And I'm thinking I gotta just put the least amount of effort into building it. And I also wanna make it semi-temporary, so if she doesn't use it, I can take it away without any kind of structural damage to the camper. Um, but also, whenever we go to sell this, I'm sure the next person probably won't want the dog step slash bed. So I need to be able to take that away. That's why I went ahead and put the flooring all the way down underneath whatever I'm gonna do for Everest. And just like that, it is time for me to go to work and I won't get anything else done in the camper which is sad, 
but today's victory is pretty significant. Put together the wire box tomorrow. Over here, got the wire box, but I need to make the hamper look pretty and get Everest's little bed step. Ow. <laughs> you just smacked my butt on camera? Yeah. You liked it. Oh. How you doing? Doing all right. What are you doing? I'm just getting all this paint, this excess paint off. Lindsay, Lindsay's a detailer, so she's doing all the little, little details of cleaning up the paint job. Oh, I cut myself today. It's him for once, not me. Yeah, it, it looks worse. A little painter's tape and uh, paper towel. But when I, uh, well, I could probably slide it up. Crazy how you did it, man. Yeah, I was, I was breaking, I was breaking the flooring in half. This little piece, and I was pushing Which? down with all my weight, and it snapped and just scraped all the skin right off. So, which is crazy because you've been doing that for I know. the whole floor. Are what if what if I would have cut my wrist? Could I have sued? Could we own could we own Lowe's by now? I mean, maybe. Yeah. It's not as bad. I mean, it hurt at first and I was worried I cut something deeper, but no blood squirted out. So, I'm going to go to work. Lindsay's going to keep on carrying on here. I'll see you when I see you. Well, it's been a couple days for me, but never fear. I am dressed exactly the same as I was the last time you saw me my pajamas, my work in pajamas. Um, I got a lot of little tasks to finish up. There's a lot more work to be done, but our inside remodel really is starting to look good. Um, the bed on the floor means Lindsay's been sleeping here at night, working hard. That's not actually what it means. That was the bed that was in front where the front office is gonna be. Up here, that was the pullout bed. A lot of junk everywhere, but it's starting to look good. I'm going to hang these in just a moment. This is how they turned out. Looks pretty nice. Pretty simple project, but it does add a lot to the, to the look of the room. I did have a big victory, which is our laundry chute. It's totally done. Tell me if it looks nice. I put some of the flooring up around to edge it out. Open, close. Open, clothes. Pun intended. Clothes, get it? It's where clothes go. That being said, this was a lot of hours. I cut myself again, same place on my wrist, underneath my band-aid, um, same exact way. I was trying to peel off a little piece of the vinyl plank flooring, pushing down on it, and then it snapped and my wrist scraped off a bunch of skin. So I have been irritable all day, ready to go in, call today. It's five o'clock and, uh, and I feel like I've accomplished nothing, but again, you can see something is accomplished. So I'm gonna call it a day, gonna take some time, take a deep breath, come back in here with a new attitude, a new perspective, and a new set of hands to help me out. And hopefully we'll make some really good progress next time. So thanks for watching, thanks for being a part of our journey. Like this video if you've liked it, comment, leave us a comment about any questions or comments you have. And of course, share our story with your friends and family and those people who you think would benefit from learning how to remodel a camper or who want to see how we are pursuing abundant life on the road. Thanks for following our story. Check you later.